now let us see this program c program to calculate uh, exponential series exponential series means e power x is equal to x power 0 by 0 factorial plus x power 1 by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial so on x power n by n factorial so e power x is equal to we know that anything power 0 is equal to 1 so 1 by what is the 0 factorial 1 so 1 by 1 means 1 plus x power 1 can be written as x so 1 factorial means 1 so x by 1 means x plus remaining equation x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial so on in this program our target is n value n stands for number of terms number of terms and the x value x value suppose if number of terms are 3 and x value is 2 so number of terms are 3 means this is the first term this is the second term this is the third term x value is 2 so in place of x we have to substitute the 2 value so what is the output we will get 1 plus x means 2 2 plus x square means 2 square so 2 square means 4 by 2 factorial means 2 so 1 plus 2 means 3 uh, 3 plus 2 means 5 so we will get 5 as the output so here the input variables are n and x so n for number of terms and x for x value now let us see the program the first statement is hash include stdivo.h why because it contains printf and scanner functions in this program we are using those functions and the next one is hash include math.h here we have to calculate x power 2 x power 3 x power 4 x power 5 for that we can use a pow function pow function pow function is available in the math header file next here we have to calculate factorial of 2 factorial of 3 factorial of 1 factorial of 4 likewise so in order to calculate the factorial uh, we are using an user defined function called fact fact function accepts an integer as the argument and fact function returns an integer value now let us see the main function so int main function so here uh, we declared uh, two integer variables n comma i where n stands for number of terms so how many terms we have to add and the next value is i i for repetition purpose so if n value is 3 then we have to repeat the loop for 3 times suppose if n value is 20 then we have to repeat the loop for 20 times so for iteration purpose for repetition purpose here we are using i value next here float x comma sum is equal to 0 so why x is declared as float we know that in c programming integer by integer will always produces integer as the result whereas integer by float or float by integer or float by float will produces float as the result here if you take these terms x square by 2 factorial here the factorial of any number is an integer value but here division means it may produces uh, some uh, a floating point value so that's why numerator must be a floating point number then only it will produces a floating point number as the result suppose if numerator is also an integer then what will happen integer by integer means integer only but sometimes there is a possibility that it may produces floating point number as the result let uh, the expression is the statement is like this 4 by 3 what is the result of 4 by 3 1 only whereas 4.0 by 3 means we will get that uh, floating point value also 1.33 likewise so that's why here x is declared as a floating point value and uh, sum is also declared as floating uh, floating point value why because here x is declared as the floating point value so obviously sum sum always uh, produces floating point as the result so the initial value of the sum is 0 why because 0 plus anything is equal to that anything only so by adding 0 the result won't changes so that's why let us declare sum as the 0 
so these two are belonging to the these two are under floating point data type let us see the first two term so print of enter number of terms scan of percentage d comma m percent n let n value is 3 let n value is 3 next input variable print of enter x value scan of percentage f comma m percent x why because x is floating point variable for floating point variable the format specifier is percentage f so let x is equal to let x is equal to 4 next here we have taken a for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so here what is n value 3 is n value so this for loop will be repeated for 3 times so 0 is less than n so 0 is less than what is the value of n 3 so 0 is less than 3 condition is true so this uh, expression will be evaluated what is the expression sum is equal to sum plus what is the initial value of sum 0 so 0 plus POW of x comma i why because here what is the numerator x power 0 x power 1 x power 2 x power 3 x power 4 x power 5 likewise so in the first iteration i value is 0 so x power 0 will be calculated in the second iteration i value is 1 so x power 1 will be calculated so likewise so that's why here we have to use this POW of x comma i in the first iteration what is i value 0 so x power 0 x value is 4 4 power 0 means what anything power 0 is equal to 1 so 1 by fact of i why because here we have to calculate 0 factorial 1 factorial 2 factorial 3 factorial 4 factorial likewise so that's why here i value so in the first iteration i is 0 so fact of 0 will be computed in the second iteration i value is 1 likewise so whenever fact of i this function is called control goes to the function definition so this is a recursive function we know the factorial of the recursive function the factorial of 0 or 1 is 1 so if n double is equal to 0 or n double is equal to 1 return 1 else the result is return of n into fact of n minus 1 okay so here here in the first iteration what is i value 0 so control goes to the fact function i value is 0 now n contains 0 0 double equal to 0 condition is true so return 1 1 will be written and it will be substituted here so sum is equal to 0 plus 1 by 1 means 1 so sum is equal to 1 so in the first iteration s value is what 1 so this is that result number of terms are 3 so the so we have to repeat the loop for 3 times now let us repeat the loop for one more time i plus plus previously i is 0 now i will become 1 1 less than 3 condition is true so the body gets executed sum is equal to sum plus what is the previous value of sum 1 1 plus pow of x comma i what is x value 4 what is i value 1 4 power 1 means 4 so 4 by fact of i what is i value 1 so 1 will be passed here if n is equal to 1 return 1 so 1 will be written and it will be substituted here so s is equal to 1 plus 4 by 1 means 4 so 1 plus 4 means 5 next i plus plus so body execution is over next i plus plus now i will become 2 so 2 less than 3 condition is true so now what will happen this expression will get evaluated sum is equal to sum plus so 5 plus pow of x comma y so in the first iteration x power 0 is computed in the second iteration x power 1 is computed now we have to compute x power 2 so 4 power 2 means what 16 so 16 by here what is i value in the third iteration i value is 2 so fact of i fact of 2 so control will goes to this function what is the result of factorial of 2 2 so 2 will be returned so sum is equal to 5 plus so 16 by 2 means 8 so sum is equal to 5 plus 8 means 13 it is a floating point number so we get 13.0 as the result next in the next iteration i becomes 3 3 less than 3 condition is false so control comes out from the for loop print of sum is equal to percentage f comma sum what is sum value 13.0 is the sum value so we will get 13.0 as the result likewise if n is equal to 4 as well as x is equal to 4 we will get 23.66 as the result if n is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 then we will get 23.66 as the result 
Now let us see the program execution whether this logic is correct or not. Now let us see the program execution hash include stdio.h hash include math.h why because in this program we are using pow function pow function is present in math.h and we are using fact function for calculating factorial value fact function returns int as the output and it access and it accepts integer as the argument uh, main function int n comma i float x comma sum is equal to 0 and inputs are number of terms n value and x value next to for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus sum is equal to sum plus pow of x comma i by fact of i next for loop is over sum is printed return 0 if the program is successfully executed then main function returns a value called 0 next we have defined the fact function now let us compile the program so no errors no warning now let us run the program Enter number of terms, let n value is 3, x value is 4. Then we will get 13 as the output. Let's check whether 13 is the output or not. So 13 is the output. So our program is correct. Let us uh, run the program one more time by giving some more inputs. Enter number of terms, 4, x value is 4. Then we have to get 23.66 as the output. Now let's check whether that is the output or not. So 23.66. So with this we can conclude that this program is working properly.